The Amazon provides important functions to our world, most notably its role in stabilizing a sustainable climate. Between the water released into the atmosphere, the role it plays in maintaining humidity locally, and the storing and absorption of greenhouse carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, the Amazon rainforest plays an irreplaceable part in our world. Unfortunately, many rainforests, such as the Amazon, have gotten caught in the crosshairs of modern civilization, and the way we are living our lives is having a devastating impact upon much of our natural spaces. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent discoveries regarding the truly horrific decline we know the Amazon to be experiencing. The Amazon is still burning. We know that forest fires are an ever-growing and dangerously progressing issue. In the first week of September 2022 alone, there were more forest fires in the Brazilian Amazon than what took place across the whole month the year prior. 2020 saw on record some of the worst fires that have been observed in years, decades even. It goes without saying that the rainforest has a relatively wet climate, and so it's not exactly a common natural occurrence for flames to tear through the canopy of trees, plants and nature taking such valuable resources from us. So, if it's not an ecosystem that particularly lends itself to naturally setting ablaze, what's behind these dangerous tragedies? Commonly, these fires are part of the highly illegal deforestation process. Perpetrators often intentionally light areas of land on fire, letting them use what once stood as part of the rainforest as a space for pasture. It goes without saying how unethical this is, bringing a high level of risk and destruction for such personal gain. But even with these intentions being laid out clearly, things can still go horribly awry. Much of the time, these fires become uncontrollable and spiral out of hand, destroying even greater areas of land than were intended. In the summer of 2022, a fire presumed to be a case of arson took to action, causing significant distress to the lives of the residents of Terranossa. Terranossa is a rural settlement in the Amazon, intended to be a space for landless people, making a living off agriculture. It was formed back in 2006 and has provided a lot of people with a livelihood, a way to survive and get by. The August fire was a ruinous in more than one manner. Not only was it out of control, but the lit fire also took a significant portion of the crop fields, which is relied on to bring in an income for the community. There was a large portion of the nearby forest reserve that was lost too. Many policies introduced over the course of recent years have had a weakening effect on the power environmental law enforcement agencies have been able to implement. These groups have an even lesser ability than ever before to implement strategies more necessary than ever. It's now significantly harder to effectively sanction environmental crimes or track down when illegal timber is being moved. Despite reports from local residents of Terranossa and the government inspectors confirming these reports to be accurate, no actions have been taken to remove the illegal occupation of the land in this area. Truly mocking the work and livelihood of these people. Speaking up against these issues simply isn't safe for citizens to do so. In 2018, one individual's life was taken from him because of declaring to report environmental crimes and another disappeared. These are not isolated incidents. Several people living in Terrabossa have lost their lives as a result of trying to defend their homes and the environments around them. Plenty of people throughout the community in positions of leadership continue to regularly be the recipients of death threats. Human activity and drought degrading more than a third of Amazon rainforest. 2023 research is bringing the truth of the crisis the Amazon is facing increasingly into perspective. One recent study published in the academic journal Science reported that the Amazon is bordering on being in danger of collapsing into an entirely new distinct ecosystem altogether, a shocking demonstration of the impact we humans can have on the world we live in. It has been found that more than a third of the Amazon is beyond repair, being used as a resource pool and not respected, preserved, or cared for. Some of the human actions that brought this ghastly change about include the deliberate fires as mentioned above, selective logging, and habitat fragmentation. 
Other threats, like droughts, while not a problem directly attributable to humans, are made worse by climate change, something that we can help to aid and improve. Degradation is the topic that is being studied within this research, meaning this looks at areas of the forest that have been damaged but not entirely cleared. The distinction between deforestation makes these statistics even more severe. On top of more than 33% of the forest that has been damaged, a further 17% has been cleared out entirely. Often we are so concerned with the effects of deforestation that degradation remains less discussed, despite it still being a serious threat. Even areas that still have trees standing within them are deceptively damaged. These stretches of land are more vulnerable to future disturbances, store less carbon, and are ultimately far closer to their eventual collapse. It has been suggested that some of these areas may eventually become grasslands, no longer homes to towering trees. The changes both in the natural environment and those caused by us humans are changing the natural landscape, and it certainly is not for the better. Changes would include a drastically lessened level of biodiversity, a far drier climate, and a replacement from the trees we know to a flat stretch of grass. Brazil promises zero deforestation in Amazon by 2030. There are a variety of factors that might limit the implementation of ideas and actions that may help to navigate the environmental disasters that are in progress. These changes and powers need to come from the top, from people in positions of influence to introduce true change. Brazil's president, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, at the COP27 climate summit, conducted in Egypt in November 2022, reportedly made a promise of zero deforestation by the end of this decade, vowing to do better than the previous president, Jair Bolsonaro, under whom the forest experienced a significant decline. Lula da Silva has announced their intention to implement renewable energy sources throughout Brazil, as well as taking a stricter approach to deforestation, hopefully addressing some of the problems we have seen in Terra Bossa earlier in this video. He has mentioned his prioritization of climate change within policies and his overall agenda, acknowledging the global climate security this rainforest provides. This intention alone is already in stark contrast to the actions seen to have been taken in previous years by Bolsonaro when in government, a leadership time that saw the removal and careful dismantling of legislation that intended to protect the best interests of the environment. Even more promising, Lula da Silva has commented on his prioritization of protecting indigenous and native people, including the protection of their land. He has pledged to be a voice to those trying to defend their homes and the forests. Hopefully, this is an indicator that the current expected projection for the decline of the Amazon can be shifted and is, in fact, not set in stone that drastic measures will come in to reinforce some of the issues being raised by researchers and environmental specialists across the world. Between the fires and the deforestation, the impact we as humans are having upon our rainforests is truly horrific. But what are your thoughts on the Amazon? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.